In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an easy way that you can beat man coverage. You can apply this to pretty much every formation in the game, but we're going to be sharing this tip out of the U-Trips offense. Um, if you guys don't know, I do have a U-Trips offensive ebook. If you guys want to check out the offensive ebook, make sure that you join uh, my Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and we have 10 out right now, and we have more on the way as well. We're going to be dropping a brand new offense this week, so make sure you're in the Patreon. That way you get access to all of that stuff. But wanted to talk qu real quick with you guys uh, today about how uh, just a simple way that you can beat man, beat zone, um, and, and just something that I think you can incorporate. I personally feel like I need to personally incorporate this more in my offense, and I'm sure that you do as well. So uh, we're just going to use a really simple uh, play. There's really not too much to this, but we're going to go to um, the, play, the play Pat slot out. You can do this out of any play in the formation. But we are going to show it out of Pat's slot out. The main reason we're calling this out of Pat's slot out is because we want to take advantage of that post route over there on the left side of this or the right side of the screen. Now, typically, if you're running U trips, you want to run this with your trips to the wide side of the field, at least in my opinion. Uh, so, what we're going to do is a real simple concept. And basically, all we're going to do is we're going to flat Keenan Allen, we're going to slant Guyton. And then we're going to out our tight end and we want to block our running back. So you see, this is kind of what the play looks like. Now, what we want to do is we want to actually let this slant kind of set up over here. And essentially what we have is we have a slant post concept and we've got really, really quick reads. So the snap the ball, the first thing we want to look to is this, this um, slant. I totally hit the, right, the wrong button. Uh, but we want to look at this slant. A lot of times what's going to happen is this flat, if it's man to man, will actually serve as a pick route uh, for this this guy here. So oftentimes their user is going to kind of shadow the tight end, at least it's been my experience. So then you should have that little quick little window right there. Now again, I think that we need to kind of adjust our expectation a little bit on the offensive side of the ball in Madden 23. Last year what we were trying to do, let me just kind of illustrate this for us real quick, is we wanted to basic, this was kind of the offense last year. Uh, we, we wanted to do something to this extent. So let me just get these guys out of the way and let's just show you. So this is literally kind of what last year's offense was. We would sit here for a long time or we'd eventually roll out and we'd hit the slant all the way across the field, right? That's not how the game is really played this year. Um, and I think that it's really important that we kind of learn that. So we want to develop quick hitting routes that can just simply work quick. We're not concerned necessarily with bombing the defense quick, but if their user says, hey, we're going to go, you know what, we're going to go guard um, the motion slant, then we want to be able to have some kind of option like this quick out to the tight end that's going to force them to drop a zone over there. So having these two quick hitting routes within one formation and really within one play really can give us a lot of power. So now they have to drop a zone over there for the tight end. You know, maybe this guy has to be manned up here. And now they're going to have to drop this guy kind of in this little area or maybe user him. So in that situation, then we're able to come back over here on the left, on the right. So when we look over here to the left side, we see, okay, slant's not there. But then we look and we say, oh, out route's not there. But now look what is there. We got the post right there. So you see how these concepts, we really want to throw these passes right off of the cut more so than anything else. So that's how we want to utilize something like this play. Now, again, there's numerous ways to run this play. Um, I've got, like I said, a full ebook on this formation if you want to check it out. Um, and we go over this play a ton. But let me show you how this can work for you against zone. Again, it's a real quick hitting route combo, right? But what you'll notice here is there's these little pockets within the zone that you'll be able to hit on either side of the field, whether it be your flat routes quick or your slants, okay? So this is just a great way to break down coverage, um, you know, specifically this year's game. So this out route, please don't sleep on this little out route to tight end. But again, our reads, we're looking quick to the flat, not there, going slant right there. So you see how quick that happens. And again, when you're looking as a passer, you're going to be working these concepts so that you get the ball out of your hands quick. Um, and again, obviously their user is going to be in the middle of the field, but their user is going to have to choose which side of the middle of the field is he going to work. Is he going to work the right side or is he going to work the left side? If he works the left side, like right there, then we're going to have a window to hit that post right in that little window, as you can see right there. So depending on how they user um, is really going to kind of 
illustrate or uh, explain where we want to go with the football. Now, I do want to show something real quick. This is a shaded inside and underneath man-to-man -man coverage. Just want to show you kind of a couple different ways that they might play man coverage on you to try to take this away. And again, I just want you to notice I can still throw my slant against that. And that's Guyton. It's not Keenan Allen or Mike Williams. Doesn't have an ability and he's still able to beat it. So this is just a great little uh, method that I like to use to get the ball out of my hands quick um, so that I can stay keep the offense on schedule. I think that this is, you know, this is something you see in the real NFL that you really don't see in Madden. The ability to get the ball in your hands quick, make a decisive, quick read um, based off of what the defense is doing is really, really important as Herbert totally ate the ball as I was trying to throw it in my post. But so you're going to work them into something like this cover two. And then as you work them into this cover two, a lot of times what people will do, most people don't run, um, you know, cover two hard flats. They're going to do something like this. And if you look to your right side, you'll see that my out route is wide open to the sideline. So we force them to have to really protect themselves in the flat and also be able to protect themselves over the top. And what will happen is eventually it'll be the right time to go to something like this, which is a more of a vertical uh, style of passing out of this, where we're going to fade this outside receiver. Maybe we take him in slot apprentice or whatever, but we're going to have this outside receiver on a fade, maybe do something like this, and now they're in cover two, and we're able to hit that over the top. So you use these plays to set one another up. But again, I just can't stress enough, like the, the simple concept of like this, like this right here to the right side, hit that slant right there. You don't want to hit it in the middle of the field because that's where the user is going to be. You want to hit it real quick and real sharp. So to me, this is a huge little tip uh, just for, you know, again, just making it a little bit easier to play offense. We're looking quick right there. Oh, got the flat. So we're going to take that flat and we're going to get, you know, five, 10 yards. So something real simple, you know, again, you can play this to almost any formation of the game, but I do think this is kind of a way that we need to start thinking offensively in Madden 23 because we're getting blitzed at almost every single play if you're like me, and you're getting man-to-man -man coverage shaded outside. Most people right now, they're shading their man coverage outside. If they shade outside, where do you want to throw? You want to throw on a, qu a quick cut inside, so like right in that little window right there. So real simple, little man beater for you, little slant flat combo with a post. Really, really simple play, but I think in the way the game works this year, having something like this quick out to the tight end, having the motion slant, having this backside sharp cutting post route, all are really, really, really important for uh, for beating the main coverage as Herbert totally screwed over that throw. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about, um, if you want to learn more about this U-Trip style of offense make sure that you join our patreon patreon members get access to literally everything all my ebooks all my updates to those ebooks and uh i just think it's a great deal for you 10 10 ebooks right now we got a brand new one coming this week thanks for watching if you want to sign up for the patreon head down to the description below and click the link down below thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you guys over at the patreon page